You can add satellite and aerial imagery to your Maptitude maps. Maptitude supports many image file formats and includes tools for accessing imagery from the internet. If you already have an image in Mr. Sid, JPEG, JPEG 2000, PNG, Digital Ortho Photo, or other file formats, you can simply use the Layers dialog box to add it to your map. Simply choose Add Layer from the Layers dialog box, choose the file type, and specify a file. Maptitude adds the image to your map. If you have many image files that together form a mosaic of an area, you can add them to an image library and treat them as a single layer. This will allow you to hide or show them all at once and change contrast or opacity settings to them all at once. Choose Tools, Imagery, Image Librarian to display the Image Librarian dialog box. Now we'll create a new library. and choose what image files to include in it. Finally, I'll add this layer to my map. You can see that Maptitude has added the library of images to this portion of the map. Notice now that if I hide the library, all the images are hidden all at once. I'll click this button to hide the layer and now we just have the original image that was shown. There are several style options available for image layers. For example, we can change the contrast and the opacity, and we can also set a transparent color. Notice that the image that we added has a great deal of white space. We can choose to make that white color transparent. You can also use this color picker tool to choose a color in your image. If I click OK, you'll see that the white area now has been made transparent. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at this area. Notice that the images are hiding the layer underneath. We could either move the layer up so it displays earlier, or we can set the opacity. Notice now that layers that were underneath the image are visible. Also new in Maptitude is the ability to add tiled imagery from a variety of internet sources. First, let me hide this image and then choose Tools, Imagery, Web Map Layers. This lists all the options that are available. For example, if I choose Virtual Earth Map, it will add Virtual Earth Imagery as a layer in the map. Also, you'll notice that if we pan or zoom the map, the imagery will adjust accordingly. You can also use built-in tools for accessing Google Earth or web mapping service images. This wraps up this tutorial on using imagery in Maptitude Maps.